Hey, retired granny here. I'm out here in the back 40 with Lucy today. It's day 17 of Lucy's heat. <laughs> really, Lucy, you gotta pee on the camera. <laughs> We're slowly but surely getting through this. Uh, uh, it's been uh, a week, I tell you. It has been a week. We haven't had any mail callers yet. Thank goodness. I really don't think there's any in the area. Uh, not close enough anyway. Or uh, that are able to get out anyway, too. But... Um, they were able to get out. She's going to be a year old next Sunday. About eight more days. And uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do for her birthday. And speaking of birthdays, I want to give a shout out to my grandson, Zeke. It was his birthday just a few days ago. He lives in Tennessee. Happy birthday, Zeke. Granny loves you. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful day it has just been i can't tell you enough just what kind of a week this has been i've had so much going on worrying about angel down in tennessee and the, and everything that she's going through down there and, and uh having to uh watch lucy's every move while she goes through this heat because we can't just let her outside without being watched. Somebody has to always, always be with her or within um, close range of her or watching her, whatever is going on. Friday, I had a dentist appointment that I totally forgot about, uh, even with a reminder phone call the night before. By the time the next day arrived, I had forgotten all about it. That was... Um, no bueno. You know, when it rains, it pours. It really does. That's just the kind of week that it's been. It's been pouring down rain. Today, I wanted to bring Lucy out and give her a good run. We've got some uh, big time snowstorm coming tonight after 10 o'clock, I think. About 24 degrees. I'm bundled up uh, to spend a little bit of time out here with Lucy. I'm glad that I let Lucy go through her heat before getting her spayed with these larger breeds. They recommend that you let them, you delay getting them spayed uh, because they're still growing. She's, she's still gonna be growing uh, almost till she's two years old. Uh, it's just uh, it's just good for her, her for her well-being. And I was really hesitant about doing it. I was really worried about having her go into heat because the vet kept telling me that, oh, you don't want to let her go into heat. It's going to be a mess and all this and that. And actually, um, it was a little bit, you know, but not nothing that you can't handle. Now, somebody... Um, may not be in a position, not everybody's in a position to to um, go through that, but I'm glad that we were in the position to let her have her heat, go into heat, and, uh, and I don't think I'll let her go into another one, and I'll just look into getting her spay right about 18 months or so. Let's go to get your ball, let's go to <laughs> Good girl, Lucy. Good girl, Lucy. Lucy's been sleeping most of the day, so she needs a little bit of exercise. Huh? Lucy, you want your own birthday hat for your birthday? How about a birthday cake, huh, Lucy? <laughs> Definitely got to get her a birthday cake. Poor Ricky. We've had Ricky 11 years without a birthday cake. <laughs> I don't even know when Ricky's birthday is. It's hard to keep track because I was working during that time. So. Hi, Lucy. You got more time to look at the calendar. We know what your actual birthday is. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy Gucci. <laughs> she says, I, I don't know which one I want. She loves that frisbee. She doesn't catch it, but she sure does like chewing on it. See? 
What happened? Did you get bumped on the nose? Huh? Sit. Sit. She jumped on my back. I don't never had her jump on my back before like that. So she definitely was trying to get my attention. Weren't you, Lucy? Huh? I don't think you're done yet. Let's get the ball. Let's get the ball. Come on. One other thing I wanted to say about this heat is that even though Ricky has been fixed, he still wanted to mate with her. So it definitely is a uh, big thing to keep the dog separate because uh, it was just too much. Uh, now I know, I know now why there are so many unwanted uh, puppies because you really have to be vigilant with the when these dogs go into heat if if you don't get them fixed before they go into heat you really have to be vigilant in order to not have a litter of puppies it was uh it's to the benefit of uh you if you don't want any puppies to just keep the dog separate if you can bring the dog in if you can bring the female in and keep the males out or keep make sure that they're separated uh, for the duration, which could be up to 21 days or longer, then uh, you're you're better off to keep them separated if you don't get them fixed beforehand. Public service announcement. <laughs>